Hi, I'm Sabrina Gayor. I'm going to show you how to make my sticky peach and halloumi skewers. They are absolutely divine and really, really simple to put together using just a few really great store cupboard ingredients. So first things first, I've got two blocks of halloumi. Uh, all I'm going to do is just cut them lengthways right down there and then make two further cuts to make six equal pieces. I've got some in here, as you can see. I'm just going to do these as well. And then I've got in here, I'm going to make a little mix. So I'm going to go in first. I've got some of this lovely crushed chili. I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of that. Then I've got some thyme. I've got a little bit of black pepper here. That's going to give it bags of flavour as well. Don't really want any salt because halloumi is salty enough. And then lastly, a little bit of garlic granules, a teaspoon of that, and then my magic ingredient, my absolute favourite, apricot jam. You can use peach as well, but apricot jam works a treat with this recipe, going in for four heaped tablespoons. I'm going to make a sticky glaze. Got a little bit of water here, so you can see you've got this lovely consistency, almost pourable. Sweet, sweet jam works so well with the salty halloumi and a little pack of spice and aromatics from the thyme just complements it beautifully. I'm going to go in with a little bit of olive oil. Now, instead of going straight into the pan, I like to make sure the olive oil goes onto the halloumi itself. Make sure it's all got a little bit of a coating and then straight in the pan, that's it. And don't worry if the halloumi breaks up, that's absolutely natural. Now the most important thing is to not constantly move the halloumi, you want it to brown. And if you constantly move it, you're gonna disturb the base of the heat, okay? So just check, that's it, nice and brown. You just wanna make sure that they've got some color on them and they've softened up a little bit. And that's absolutely perfect. Now I've got some flat peaches today. You can use full-size peaches, you can use nectarines, it just gives it the most delicious burst of sweetness that also tones down the chili that we've added into that. Now they've had a little bit of a time in the pan, pour this mix over. Try and batch them in the middle, it does make it a little bit easier. The sticky glaze has a tendency to burn, so if like me you're cooking on a really hot induction pan, just turn the heat off. I've turned the pan down at the moment and I'm just going to turn it off when it's time to put the glaze in. Same works for gas, it just means that your sauce will sizzle but it won't just completely burn and caramelise too much. There you go. The heat from the pan will just wake up that sauce. Just give everything a nice little coating. Oh, it's going to be absolutely divine. And it bubbles away. Sugars caramelise in that pan as the coat. Give everything a good old move around in the pan. Really are sensational flavour combination from store cupboard ingredients. That's the best kind of cooking, and lots of value by getting the right ingredients in your store cupboard. What will happen is it will ev evaporate and they just become stickier and stickier. I've got here, I've got some peaches that I told you about. I've just taken the stones out, that's all you need to do. If you halve them, you should be able to get approximately six to eight wedges. Don't be too precise or worry. Here, I'm going to go three in each because flat peaches are much smaller. Right, now, this mixture has got a lot thicker, a lot stickier, so give everything a final toss. And you can see that beautifully jam, it's actually jammy is the best way to describe it. Okay, now pan off. I like to decant them straight onto a plate or into a dish, just to cool them away from the base of the pan. Always good to be safe. Oh, and they've sort of become all caramelized on the outside and really quite squishy. Now what you want is a nice piece of peach, followed by a big bit of halloumi and finished with another piece of peach. Okay, got a little plate here. Now all you keep doing is just repeating until you've filled your plate 
and you can do them just with a piece of halloumi and peach you can intersperse with a little leaf of basil absolutely delicious so i'm just going to keep doing these until i'm finished and here we have it my delicious sticky peach and halloumi skewers just a few store cupboard ingredients such little time but so much flavor absolutely delicious mm -hmm.